Uh, now, our next guest has, in the past, been voted the UK's most eligible woman. She's had two number one hits and an album in America. Not bad, considering when she started on her own online blog. Lily has put the music to one side for the moment and is devoting her time to something that first caught her interest when she was uh, when she was a child. It's when you started learning about deforestation and the rainforests. Oh. Um, uh, we'll come to that in a moment because I've got to talk to you about last night. <laughs> um, and this is the this is the fact that we, if anyone was watching the news last night and saw the saw the pictures of, of you <laughs> sobbing, look, 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 there you go, look, oh my God! Of course, you were in uh, you're in Hamburg, <laughs> so and I don't like to say that your beloved Fulham <laughs> lost their biggest game in their 131 year history, uh, mm. two uh, two one to. Uh, and, and and it was the late time goal, last last minute goal, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, last last couple of minutes. Yeah, it's pretty um, devastating. Uh, mm. and so how how are you today? You all right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You yeah. know what it was, and I sent my granddad, who uh, has been supporting Fulham since, you know, the thirties, and been going to see them since the you know, early forties. So oh. I really wanted them to win, so that he Man. would have seen them win. <laughs> <laughs> and you, had, and your phone, you were saying that your phone had run out of battery, so yeah. you had no idea that we'd all seen you. No, and I woke up this morning um, and I've had charged my phone overnight, obviously, and I got these text messages going, <laughs> don't cry, Lil, it'll be all right. I was like, How does that, what is everyone talking about? I was actually worried about you. When we came in this morning, we were going, oh, I hope she's going to be OK. Is she OK? No, you I'm are fine. OK, you're fine. You know, I, I cry at EastEnders, I cry at um, <laughs> John Lewis adverts. Like, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I cry at pretty much anything, so yeah. But oh, well, in that case, I've got no sympathy at all. <laughs> Uh, so, um, so anyway, let's let's talk about uh, about this latest pr project that you've got. This is the Sky uh, Rainforest Rescue, mm -hmm. um, and um, and so you learnt about this at school, and it was something that you know sort of piqued your interest, and then as far as you were concerned, it sort of went away, mm -hmm. and you didn't realise that, 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 that the massive deforestation of the Amazon was still going on. Yeah, well, I guess I suddenly assumed that there was some sort of regulatory system in place, you know, and that um, it was something that was being combated, just because I remember them hammering hard the. Amazon sort of well, topic yeah. so strongly um, and yeah and then I suddenly I didn't hear about it until recently when I was approached to get involved so, so and yeah. it's quite extreme I mean this is a, this, an area the size of three football pitches every, every minute, minute mm -hmm. get destroyed exactly. and um, and within its own self the deforestation is I think it that is it now, let me get this right it's one fifth responsible for the world's emissions mm -hmm. and it's it's more it's worse it's sort of um, the trees, when they're cut down or when they're burnt down, they release all of the carbon dioxide which they've been absorbing and storing. Yeah. So when when this happens, it's worse than all of the pollution from planes, trains, cars, everything mm -hmm. put together. Put together. Exactly. Just from deforestation. Yeah, and it's not just the cutting down of the trees. You know, it's, it's the burning of them as well. Yeah. So it's, it's a huge, huge global well, issue. Well, it's been described as the lungs of the world, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. The uh, the Amazon, and uh, and and also that there are. The huge discoveries, sort of medical discoveries of the things that are in there, uh, creatures that we didn't know that were in there, mm -hmm. tribes that we didn't know that were in there, with this relentless deforestation sweeping through, mm -hmm. um, and so we don't. We, we actually, even although on the on the you know the big scale we know what we're losing, on the small scale we still don't know what we're losing. Mm. These tiny things. Exactly. Well, yeah, and we we went to. Um, Acre State, which is one of the more progressive states as far as um, you know combating deforestation is concerned in Brazil. Um, so it was it was great for me to see what can be done and where they're trying to move into the into the future and trying to create more sustainable lifestyle for the people within the communities that live in that area. So trying to encourage them to um, you know make their well, we went to go and visit a condom factory where mm. they're using the rubber from the tr trees that they're tapping. So you, you tap the trees, you don't have to cut them down. This is a, this is a big industry mm -hmm. and the trees are still alive and, and thriving. Exactly, so you don't have to, yeah, it's about trying to make the trees worth more alive than they are dead. Well, well Chico Mendes was, uh, was a rubber tapper and, mm -hmm. and he was the person that first brought the plight of the Amazon out to the wider world. Yeah, he was a union man, so to speak. And this is when you realise what's at stake here and, and, and how seriously this is taken, mm -hmm. um, that, that he was assassinated yeah. by the loggers mm -hmm. because of the fact that he was speaking out and attempting, it, uh, attempting the, the prevention of the deforestation. Yeah. We went to visit his house where, where it happened, actually. It was just devastating, really heartbreaking to see. It's so real and so kind of... Um, yeah, I mean, we met his his daughter, and it, she's, she's still, still fighting. fighting. Yeah, for, is she for in the fear court. of her life? And she no, 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 she's not in fear of her life. But I think you, I found it quite amazing. You know, if my father had died for a cause, you know, I'd probably want to, 
you know, leave that, you know, that's responsible for my father being dead. So the fact that she's sort of living, mm. you know, keeping it going, I think is just amazing. So by doing this, what, <clears throat> are, what are you hoping to achieve? Um, well, the idea is that WWF and Sky want to try and save a billion <clears throat> trees. That's the World um, Wildlife Fund, yeah? Exactly. Um, so there's so much that you can, uh, you know, find out about the, the project. And I think if you go to Sky mm. Rainforest Rescue... What we'll do is we'll put the details on our on website. On your website, link exactly. It, so it makes it so much easier if it's all in one yeah. place. Yeah, um, and there's loads of footage of me up in, you know, in Acre and in Brazil, going on boats up and down rivers. Mm. And <laughs> you, um, you, uh, this is not an easy place to get to. No, I think it was about 26 hours or something wow. to get there in total. And uh, and no no um, luxuries. You were staying. Oh in a... no! There was a tarantula on my yes. bed one night. It was horrible. <laughs> that is terrifying. It had you know it got it, it got to the point where it was so it was almost sort of hysterical, like how far away from everything we were, and everyone was going a little bit stir crazy. And I was like, one night I sort of said, okay, I'm going to go to bed. I've got to get a good night's sleep. We've got such a busy day tomorrow. And I sort of went down this mud path, and you know opened the door to my hut, and um, I was with my friend Kim, and he was like. Um, there's, a, there's a tarantula on the bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's like my worst nightmare. Well, that's the, the worst it's thing so about terrifying. it is that, and you, you say that, then you feel so far away when you're there, and the fact that when we're here, it does seem such a long mm. way away, but has massive implications for all yeah. of us. Um, and so, so do have a look on our website. We'll point you in the in the right direction for what you can do and what you can do to encourage the prevention of there's this. There's things you can do from home as well. Massive mm -hmm. chopping of trees. Mm -hmm. um, so, what about the music then? Um, has it is this gone? <laughs> um, I don't know, you know. I've got, I just feel like I'm at a point in my life where I want to, to be more at home mm. and not sort of travelling the world and jumping up and down on stages. And so you go to the Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not stage. But, um, yeah, no, I, do, I don't know. I'm still working in music and I'm still writing music, you know, maybe for other people. Um, I'm involved with, you know, trying to do a musical at the moment. So oh. um, that's really exciting. But... I just, I just, yeah, I'm kind of a bit fed up of Lily Allen. <laughs> fed up of Lily Allen? <laughs> I don't know, the character that I've been playing so, so for the So did you just, years. was it not what you expected it to be? I mean, it's, it's fantastic to have a triple platinum album, but, but is it the, the other stuff that comes with that that you don't like? I don't know, I think I've just been living real life in a you know, really massively fast lane for mm. the past five years, and I just feel the need to sit back and relax a little bit more. You know, so many people in my position quite frankly, go a bit mad. And mm. <laughs> maybe that's because they're sort of pushing themselves a little bit too hard. I mm. kind of feel like it's almost a sensible thing to do is to step away from it for a bit. Mm. Yeah, well, I know that you're well. stepping into, into fashion because you're start, starting your vintage shop, aren't mm -hmm. you? And that's a new series that's Lucy in Disguise. I don't know if we right? know what it's called yet, but I think it'll Working be... Working title, then. Yeah, yeah, it'll be on television right. and, come uh, and that's Channel 4, yeah? I believe so. When you, when you uh, get a little bit closer to getting that on the telly, will you come back and tell us about it? Yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry about the football. <laughs> oh.